John chapter 8, verse 44. Let's read it. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, when it comes to the institution of biblical slavery, when it comes to what actually happened here in America and the cause of the Civil War and what the Civil War was actually all about, there has been an extensive, ongoing propaganda campaign. It comes straight out of the pit of hell. Straight out of the pit of hell. You say, why? Why is there so many lies? Why is there so many lies in the textbook? Why were we brainwashed in high school, in school, elementary school, to think that the Civil War was fought all over slavery? Why all the lies? Why all the propaganda? I'll tell you why. Number one, make the Bible look bad. Satan wants to lie to make the Bible look bad. Hey, there's no need to read that book. There's no need to heed that book if that book promoted slavery. Do you realize that there's scores and scores and scores of blacks who have bought into that lie and are burning in the pit of hell right now? Because they never got saved. They don't want to touch that so-called white man's book. They want to touch that so-called white man's religion. And I got news for you. Jesus wasn't white. <laughs> But he wasn't black with dreadlocks either, all right? I've seen that one too. <clears throat> I guarantee you Jesus looked more black than he did white, though. It, Jesus looked like an Egyptian. Do you know that <laughs> Jesus came from the seed of Abraham? You know one of Abraham's distant grandchildren was who? Joseph. When Joseph went into Egyptian slavery... He dressed like an Egyptian. His own brothers mistook him for an Egyptian. So Jesus looked more like an Egyptian than any of us. All right, so. <clears throat> Number one, all the lies have been to make the Bible look bad. From Satan. Yep. To turn people away from the Bible. Yep. Turn people away from the Lord Jesus Christ. Think of all the nation of Islam, black, na uh, uh, Hebrew, uh, uh, black, what do you call us, black Hebrew Israelites, and all these people that are turned away from the Bible, turned away from Christianity, and nation of Islam, people, and all this kind of stuff. Number one, make the Bible look bad. Number two, make the Constitution look bad. Make the Constitution of the United States of America look bad. Hey, forget that First Amendment. Forget that Second Amendment. A bunch of white racists wrote it. We don't need that First Amendment. We don't need that Second Amendment. They didn't know what they were talking about anyway. They're a bunch of white racists. That's why the lies have surfaced out of the pit of hell. Number one, make the Bible look bad. Number two, make the Constitution look bad. What did them bunch of haters know? A bunch of haters wrote that Constitution. Even Obama himself said, thought it was flawed and could be changed. Number three, the third reason for the lies out of the pit of hell is to cause division and cause diversion. Amen. Cause division and cause diversion. Jesus said that a house divided against itself shall not stand. Sure. Look, if the globalists and social, socialist big government types can keep us divided by regurgitating their lies and stirring the pot racially, stirring up racial tensions. They got us. Yes, sir. They got us. Amen. They can pass laws that take away our liberties and freedoms and enslave both of us. Yes, 